self-development with tactics. So, I don't know what I'm gonna go through now, but, uh, well, it's gonna be some Reddit things, you know, once again. But it is fine, it is good, it is great, and the first one is, again, from the Stoicism subreddit. After three years of reading the Daily Stoic every single day, I finally upgraded my morning routine. From reading on my Kindle slash web browser to reading in the limited edition leather-bound hardcover. I am truly in love. It is one of the most beautiful books I own is and is something I really cherish. The Daily Stoic seeing every single day. I mean, I know it is by Ryan Holiday, right? But I didn't know that there's some, some letter book version of that. And or at least, I mean, also hardcover. Anyway. And then there is um, an ad for GTA Online. <laughs> Well, thanks. And it's also in German. Thank you. Can you help me find this book that changed my life as a kid? Well, I do I do want to figure out... I mean, uh, there's a person kind of um, describing what the book was about and so on and so forth. And I really want to see whether somebody was able to, to come up with the title. Because there's actually, you know pretty you know quite a lot of things that I that I'm thinking about that I was doing back in the days I mean when it's about um, you know mostly playing games I've been playing a tons of games and it's it's been my youth I mean this could sound kind of um, well sad and or bad and or whatever but but no I, I really enjoyed it because I was always playing with my older brother and it's 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 always been nice and I'm actually so tremendously grateful for the fact that I that I've had an older brother or still having an older brother in my life but especially back in the days I mean I I never had to be alone of course I mean there were fights and so on and so forth but um I don't know it's 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 always been a blast with him and um yeah I just truly enjoy that and I'm pretty thankful <laughs> the first comment, Enchantress from the Stars by Sylvia Louise Engedal. This book had a huge impact on me too. And then the uh, original post creator, oh my god, you did it and on the first comment too. You just solved a 20 year mystery for me within two seconds of me posting. Holy ghost. Thank you. I'm excited too and it looks like it's print as an ebook anyway. It's in print as an ebook anyway. Well, I don't get that, but but I enjoy that. I mean, if you do have something that you're looking for, you know, whether it is actually about books, games, whatever it might be about, just um, use Reddit. I think it is a pretty, pretty, pretty good idea. I'm quitting self-deprecating humor. Well, I don't know, like, I thought about that as well, especially back in the days when I uh, thought more about such things, but, um, but yeah, is it really that bad? Maybe subconsciously, and, and I don't want to downplay the subconscious thing and then say, okay, yeah, well, then it is fine. No, I think especially when it is about that, then one should really change something because, yeah, I mean... Subconscious shit is, is is definitely a big thing to um, to think about and to have in mind, like, what is doing things to me subconsciously. But you know what? I actually want to go through something rather sensical, even though I do know that, especially yesterday, I decided to go through some Reddit things because there, there's not a lot of editing involved, involved and or um, just having to deal with the notes and, and, or just, uh, not the notes, but the description and, and so on and so forth. But I think that, I don't know, I could do better, you know, and I could do a better job of 
making something and creating something that other people actually want to see. You know? um, timeless lessons applied to today. I use sub for adults. Is this a long article? No, it is not. Let's actually see. Um, I think it is always interesting to see certain lessons and certain things that people have been using back in the days, especially when it is Asian times. I mean, Stoicism is quite about that entirely. But yeah. Aesop's fables are unsparing. Hiding behind animal characters, Aesop speaks unborn what? Unvarnishedly about human's dark side, while Aesop I'm gonna not gonna say Aesop, I'm gonna A. A's fables are thought of as for children. Some of them offer lessons for us all. The stage and the fawn. A sta oh the stag and the fawn. I don't know what both is, but anyway. A stag admits to a fawn that while he may be low and threaten on seeing a hound, he runs away. An interpretation for adults. Sometimes insecure people blow loud as a conch to intimidate for fear of being discovered as an empty shell. The fear tree and the brabo. A fear tree boasted to a brabo. I'm important for building houses. You're useless. The brabble replied, when they come to chop you down, you'll wish you were a bramble. I don't know what a fucking bramble is. What is a fucking bramble? A pickly scrabbling shrub of the rose family, especially a blackberry. The fruit of the blackberry. Well, now I know. Why don't you just say fucking blackberry? Dumbass. <laughs> just joking. Beyond a modest income, additional money may yield fewer pleasures than the very city cure. Concerns about investments, tax strategies, ensuring all you have, keeping up with the Joneses, etc. Plus, you may be more subject to being jobbed down by jealous co-workers, neighbors, media tax on the heavens and dishonest jealous co-workers. Oh, I'm sorry, and dishonest pervious of everything from time shares to service hungry break down prone luxury cars. Yeah, it may be wise to aim for modest housing, cars, clothes, college certifications, etc., thereby both freeing you from some worry and allowing you to choose a career you would enjoy more, even if it paid less. Well, I'm not quite sure about the college thing. I mean, I totally agree with... Um, I mean, I don't need a big house. I don't need a big car. I don't need in just expensive clothing. You know, I... I don't care about that. When I would be caring about something, then would definitely be um, houses and cars and clothes that, that are not hurting the environment and, and or at least are, are giving some um, some benefit to, to someone. And I mean, it also makes sense to use uh, solar energy and so on and so forth. Like when I do want to use a lot of money, then I'm, I'm gonna try to deal with such things and not with, okay, how rich can I look to other people and or how big can I go and or how expensive can I be and go and, and whatnot. Like, nah, this doesn't make too much sense for me. The wolf and the lamp. The lamp was sweet to the wolf, but was devoured anyway. An interpretation for adults. We like to think we'll be rewarded for our kindness. Alas, some people give and give and Given, and given, and get taken for granted, or even are seen as patsies and destroyed. Be careful when you bestow your gentle spirit. I would still be a person that gives. And uh, there is actually a book by, I think it is by Dan Heath and somebody else, but it is Give and Take, as far as I remember, or Give or Take, something like that. And it is about three kinds of people, give us takers and something in between like people that do want to balance out things you know they do not want to get advan taken advantage of and they also don't want to take advantage of other people you know to really how should I say um like not every taker is obviously um taking advantage of other people and also not every giver is being taken advantage of but just to make it understandable the cock and the jewel the cock tosses aside a jewel, saying he would rather have a grain of barley. An interpretation for adults. We all have gifts, perhaps of intelligence, kindness, artistic ability, whatever, but only some people will appreciate them. Especially share your gifts with people who will. 
yeah, makes sense. I mean, it also makes sense to just work in a company that appreciates your skill as well. The council mice. Tired of the cat attacking, the mouse council agreed that a bell be put on the cat so when it neared, the tinkler would warn the mice. But the council members' cat to put the bell on the cat assigned that the that to the hoi boloi. An interpretation for adults, it is easy for government bosses and romantic partners to issue edicts more difficult to execute them before acceding to an order or even an entriety. Ask how it might practically and wisely be implemented, which makes sense. I mean, why would you come up with something that is not applicable or implementable? If this is even a word, I don't care. The lion and the four balls. Four balls agreed to stick together to avoid getting eaten by the lion, but the lion whispered false hoods about each bull to the three others. Thus, they quarreled, broke their alliance, and the lion ate them all. An interpretation for else, beware of people you suspect could try to break apart your alliances for their benefit. For example, in your workplace, two of you agree to support a new in- initiative. It is not... not little, it is not above an unscrupulous opponent to lie to you that your colleagues is bad-mouthing you. The miscreant not only wants to break your alliance but wants your job. The lesson, take gossip and advice with grains of salt, especially from those who stand to gain. The fox and the sick king. A lion pretended to be sick and all the animals came to the cave to visit. But the fox saw that all the paw prints pointed into the cave none out, so the fox stayed out. An interpretation for adults, don't necessarily follow the crowd, especially if it's risky, for example, today's marijuana mania, better first to observe, lest you be quote-unquote eaten. Pretty interesting that um, marijuana is, is um, gotten a bad reputation now all of a sudden. I mean, there's so many things that one could say here, you know, that a lot of people are doing. Um, but, yeah, it's, the, the funny thing is that it probably says something about the author, doesn't it? That the author, uh, Marty Nemco, PhD, I don't know, I don't want to say anything. Like, I don't know this person, I don't know what he's up to, I don't know what he's doing, and so on and so forth. But, but I don't know, like, there's many things you could come up with. And... I do want to say that um, marijuana is, uh, should be, uh, uh, yeah, you, you shouldn't take it lightly. Uh, you should really be conscious about the downsides it can have and the possible side effects, which can be devastating and which can be uh, pretty fucked up. But um, yeah, just have it in mind and uh, also think about the law if it is illegal in your state wherever you're living, in your country, then it makes sense to not do that, you know, not take it and just stick with other things. Um, yeah, even if alcohol <laughs> is is way worse and so on and so forth. I mean, there, there are certain studies and one should really look into certain studies and those studies that are uh, being made in places where uh, marijuana is legally consumed, for example, the Netherlands or Amsterdam and or California and whatnot and um, maybe have a look into the um, the population, how they are acting, how they behave, how they feel and what problems they do have to deal with and there probably are certain things that are more concentrated in these areas than in other areas and if this is the case and it is something negative then potentially it is the fact that you know, these things can occur more often than other things. I mean, I don't know. I I think that there was a study in Amsterdam that showed that a ton of people are depressed in Amsterdam. And, but I don't know for sure. But it is something to look out for. It is something to look into. And it's something to make sure that um, maybe, for example, when you're having a predisposition uh, with being depressed and or with mental illnesses that you may be a bit more... um, a bit more concern about these side effects and or that you think about the doses that you're taking yeah or using or whatever 
The mischief's dog. A dog's owner was tired of the other animals complaining that the cur was ever nipping at their heels, so the owner tied a bell around the dog's neck. The dog thought it a badge of honor. Thought, 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 I don't actually know. An interpretation for else, occasionally we honor or praise someone because we are afraid of them and want to avoid their antipathy. As Machiavelli wrote, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. So when you get praise or an award, you might ask yourself whether it's earned or an attempt to neutralize you. This is very cynical. The wolf and the crane. While devouring prey, the wolf got a bone stuck in his throat and begged to pay the crane to remove it. The crane did, but the wolf refused to pay. You had your head in my mouth. You're lucky I didn't eat you. An interpretation for adults. Beware of getting involved with a mean person. Yeah, this is actually it with the article. I do hope that you're not too cynical now. Um, think about it. Make sense of it. I know that you're smart. I know that you can think on your own. And I know that um, you can make sense of it all. Meaning, uh, take what makes sense and don't take what doesn't for you and your life. Gonna see you the next time. Thank you.